Good morning guys. Today I'm going to do a tour of my truck camper. It is a 2007 Montana Ponderosa. It is a side entry door. It's 11 foot long and it was made by S&S &S Campers. Uh, this truck camper is not made anymore. Sadly to say because I do believe it's probably one of the, I mean, I love Lance campers too, but this is a really well-made camper. It is on a Dodge Ram 2012 Longhorn 3500 with a Cummins turbo diesel. It is a 2012 and when I bought this truck, it is a dually. When I bought this truck, it had 12,000 miles and I just turned over 50,000 miles. So this truck has a lot of life left in it. I mostly leave it on the truck at all times. I do take it off when I need to do maintenance on my truck mostly. I go and get my tires rotated, get the oil changed, things like that. I will take it off, but pretty much it stays on. I don't mind unhooking it and doing my running around. So it does have a generator, but it has a 2500 Onan generator. Okay, let's go in. So one of the cons, I guess, about truck campers is there's a lot of steps going into the truck camper. Like I said, this is a side entry. And lots of mirrors in this truck camper, but I have the door to the bathroom closed, so I just wanted to uh, show you that it is a slide door and it is a dry bath. It has a skylight. One thing this truck, truck camper has is lots of storage. Um, I use a bucket, five gallon bucket for my trash can. Uh, I carry another one underneath that so I can do laundry if I need to. It has a medicine cabinet. Remember, I live in this truck, cap truck camper and I do want to say that I have done all my laundry so my closets are packed and I've also just went to the grocery store so all my cabinets are packed but this is a pretty big uh, it goes all the way back and that is storage and uh, I do travel with the dog so there's Sammy's food I use this closet for winter clothes and coats and things like that and it is accessible also from in here so you can get to it from either way if you're in the bathroom now I don't n normally get to it from in here um, I do carry a foldable uh, suitcase never know I might have to jump on a plane and go somewhere so that is lots I have too many clothes one of the neat things about this truck camper too is it has lights that come on in all the closets when you open the door and this is normally has toilet paper in there <laughs> but it the toilet paper like I said I just went to the store and it's in the truck so I will supply that and this is my laundry detergent and stuff like that. And this is a nice window. When I got this truck camper, the previous owner had put command hooks pretty much everywhere. I added these up here for my hats. Truck campers obviously are small. But it has a full 
RV fridge and freezer. And it has a stove, oven, and I keep most of my pots and pans in the oven, and that's where they travel. And I cook a lot, and so I have lots of spices. It has spice rack there, and a spice rack over there, and it has a microwave. Now, this is what I use for plates and cups and dishes, basically. Coffee pot, dishes, flour, sugar, salt. One thing I like about this truck camper a lot is this big countertop. Plus, it has this cutting board, and I use this all the time when I'm cooking. So, it has lots of prep area it has two sinks and underneath the sink pretty big area there's cleaning products and some larger pots and pans back there this drawer is for silverware and everything else it only really has one drawer for silverware like that it does have a drawer underneath the oven and this is what i use for um, dish towels, foil, baggies, things like that. And then this is kind of like a junk drawer. <laughs> Binoculars, weather radio, batteries, command hooks, um, matches, things like that. One of the reasons that I wanted to do this video is because I do live in this truck camper. And to make it functional, I had to do some uh, additions, I guess because I love to cook and let me just show you what I've done because there's not enough room in this truck camper for food products. So what I did is this is the buffet is what they call it, I guess. Um, it seats four. This does uh, fold down and make a bed if need be, but uh, that would, that's never gonna happen because I'll show you what I've done underneath here. But I put these plastic drawers here because I needed food storage. So I have beans and rice, dried beans and rice, and nuts and seeds and spaghetti and things like that. This, I've got teas and um, more spices, vitamins, um more bean, beans, spices, uh, macaroni, starch, baking powder, baking soda, things like that. Crackers. This is kind of snacks. And then this is, I don't carry a lot of plastic wear, but when I do boondock, I will buy it. Um, especially for a lot of people are eating out. I use this storage for cereals, milk bones, um, Actually, this uh, coconut oil, it rides right there just fine, and it's almost out, so I just bought another one. And I do use a fan. The air conditioner is right here, and it's either on or off. There is not a, well, there's a thermostat with cold, but it doesn't reach temperature and go off. This is where I sit most of the time, work on my videos. Um, this is my desk. This is my eating table. <laughs> Added this. This is all my electronics. This is my art supplies and books I'm reading, journals, things like that back there. And my other cameras back there. And this is food. And like I said, I just went to the store, so it's packed. Basically, it's just canned goods all the way across. Let me step back. This is three more steps you have to go up into uh, the bed. Now, you, in travel mode, there's a latch right here, and that moves in. So, that gives you more room, but I usually just leave it out because Sammy goes up and down the steps. More storage. These are kind of cool. I use that for potatoes and onions, and then that's Sammy's her little stash of stuff, toys and 
treats and all that kind of stuff. I do carry a small cooler. You never know when you need to put some ice on some beverages and go somewhere. So I do carry that. Also, the neat feature of this truck camper is this little cutout right here. And I use that for shoes. And I'm probably sure that's what that was intended for. Okay, another thing that I added... for storage is this bench underneath the table with these two baskets. I'll usually put water or Cokes or canned goods in the bottom of that and then chips or pretzel or, you know, light stuff on top. And then, but in here, this lid comes up and in there I have my rice cooker and my little food processor and any appliances like that that's big and bulky that gives me a place to store them behind here i boondock half the year well i boondock quite a bit and so i installed a pure sine wave inverter back there uh i turn it on with the switch right over here anytime i need it and I also installed a Wii Boost, and it's actually installed behind here. Another neat feature of this camper is this drawer right here. Yeah, this is long. I can carry hiking sticks, and um, but I leave it out now. I used to put my hiking stick in here. But um, there's my knife collection. Lots of knives. My headlamps, my pins, my guitar picks. This is like pins and staplers and paper clips and things like that. Let's go up here. And so going into the, the bed area, this is a escape hatch. You can pop that open, jump up there and get out. And there is a ladder on the back of the camper, so... You could get down if you needed to. All right. And one of the things uh, that I'd mentioned is the quality of this camper. This wood, I want you to see this is solid wood. It's not plastic. It's built really, really well. Oh, look, Possum Kingdom. But uh, these are all my short sleeve shirts. And you can make these either shelves. And you can see that in my very first video that I did on the truck camper of the tour and I will link that above but you can have shelves there or you can hang things same thing in here um, this is underwear blankets towels sheets and when you travel with the dog you need to have extra towels extra sheets <laughs> Because you never know what's going to happen. When it rains, you have to dry off your dog a lot. There's my guitar. Yeah, I sleep with my guitar. But this is books that I want to read. That I Once I read them, I'm getting rid of them. So this is just a little uh, area. My little office area, so to speak. This is a cabinet that goes... Um, to the front of the camper I have another sleeping bag and um, two blankets that I bought in Mexico in there so in the winter I sleep with one sleeping bag and then a blanket on top in the summer I just sleep with the sleeping bag up here one thing I don't like about this camper is um, it's very hard to get something out of here. <laughs> they should have hinged it down, I think. But, because it's very hard to, I actually have to sit Indian style, hold it open, and then get something. But up here I have, like, my sewing kit, games, uh, things that I don't use a whole lot. Cards, things like that. On the other side, this is my couch. <laughs> so the only place to sit in here is um, 
where I showed you in my office area here. That's the only place to sit. So I bought this pillow and that allows me to actually sit like a, in a couch either side. Now I can put it here and I'd actually do carry a television with me. And this compartment here was built for a television because it has a latch up here to hold that up. This, I use it for storage, can you tell? But here's my 13 inch TV, DVD player. Um, this can move in and out. So you could pull that out and watch TV from bed, which is pretty cool. Um, I have a power strip in here, which goes over there to my bed so I can plug in my phone. But this is my backpack, my drone, uh, odds and ends, comes of stuff. But I don't have a really good place for my backpack accessible, so I put it there. I guess this is kind of a junk drawer. Not junk drawer, I guess. <laughs> anyway. My maracas! Yay! But, um, yeah junk drawer this is other clothes this is my pants I'm about to go through this because a bunch of these I don't wear that are down here um, my belts up here this is shorts swimwear buffs um, toboggans gloves winter clothes things like that my new two new buffs or face mask if you want to call them that um, so that's, I roll my clothes there, and then this is just a little cubby hole. I got my flashlight and things, <laughs> and I've got DVDs up there in that one. But yeah, it, oh, I've got a blanket in there, it's pretty dark in there. So, I wanted to do a tour of the truck camper. To show that you can actually live in it and sometimes you have to modify it to your needs if you don't cook a lot you wouldn't need to um, do add the plastic container and things like that but I like to cook all different kinds of food so I had I tried to narrow it down and it just didn't work but um, anyway if you have any questions Put your comments below. I'd love to hear any comment on the truck camper or any questions that you had. I'll try to answer it. Um, I guess that's all for now. So I'll see you in the next video.